Hello. Welcome back to RFL. Uh, I'm going to start by saving in a new slot, because I keep forgetting and overriding my slot, my uh, save. So, uh, let's do that. And then we're going to go over here and check out the castle. And then the archery contest and progress the plot, finally. First is shop. Ahoy there, young lady. Come have a look at my wares, won't you? Shop. Oh, he also has heavy hides. And cotton! I don't know how many I need, but I'm going to buy a bunch of cotton. Sure, some enchanting dust. And there goes my money. Okay. And I need heavy hides for anything else I would do with the cotton. Do I have the money for the heavy hides? Is the question. Okay, let's finally get his armor. Uh, what would I do with... What would I actually upgrade? Probably her armor. If I wanted to get six hides. I don't think I have enough for six hides, though. We'll see. I do. Barely. In her headband. There we go. Castle Atana is the largest structure in all of RFL. There isn't enough stone and lumber to make in anything much larger. Rumors say we'll be at war with vampires soon. Is that a war we can really win? The Sarami Plains to the east are rumored to have a haunted cave. Maybe I'll check it out after my shift. Ooh, a chest. Okay. A level 2 enchantment that I don't think I can actually... Nope. Okay. This is the only one I have, so... Hold it, you. No one enters the castle without an invitation right now. Be on your way. can't actually do anything in the castle. The door is locked. Castle Otana hunting range star away. Archery range. Okay. Uh, goodbye music. A good chunk of coins there. A couple caves. Hmm. They call this place Lonnie's Flute. I think it's because a famous flutist used to live here until she was murdered. Anyway, need anything? <laughs> okay. Some ingots and a bunch of dust. Er, uh, it won't budge. Is this an exit? This is an exit. Okay. Same cave. Thought so. Huh. Hey, it's a little kid. What are you doing in... Oh my good... Oh, oh my goddess, it's a ghost. My... My necklace. You have it. Oh, please, give it to me. Oh, I'm begging you, please. You mean this one that creep from the apple orchards found here in Ceramai? Here, you can have it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, no, I can't believe it's still cursed after all this time. Get to defeat the terrible monster that cursed it. Of course I do. Why can't anything ever be easy? And that sounded like a door opening. Okay then. 
I'm pretty sure I can't do this right now either. So, uh, I guess let's go pick a fight. There's the door. A magic stone. crafting. Okay, that's a skill upgrade of stone, but for someone I don't have. Oh, right, I have that treasure. I can sell that to, uh... What's her name down here? Talani. And that's not a lot of money. Okay. Yep, I cannot do this yet. But that is iron. push this around. Oh, oh! Okay. I think I know what this puzzle is. Yep. Okay. So we gotta light a bunch of those. Get someplace safe and save. I can actually upgrade his shield. Ooh, that was uh, that's that is some worth right there. All right, save again. Huh. I actually don't think there's a way down there. Interesting. Oh, here's another. Let go of it. There you go. Did I actually juke my way around these things? Okay. Even if I do, he said that I had to defeat the monster, so I would not be able to defeat whatever's actually protecting or cursing the necklace. That sounded like a door opening somewhere. Okay. Well, I solved the puzzle. I don't think I can actually do this, though. Or? Well, let's, uh, let's get killed. Oh, uh, hello? Are you the monster that Spirit Child was talking about? Well, come on, aren't you going to attack me or something? What should I do? Fight the Spirit. Alright, let's do this. Yep. 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 I... Yep. Yep, it, it is faster than Lita. Oh, yes, I am... I am not doing this now. Wow. Mm, wow. Go for it, Adrian. You got this. Yeah. Take those sevens. I 
really don't think you need to charge up. could make this faster. Yep. <laughs> You'll just come back later. Huh, so some deaths it puts you back to your save and some it puts you back before the fight. Interesting. Oh, no. Oh. But also, I cannot fight these things. Let's, um... Let's save. And we'll, we will just show that. Goblin, Goblin Axeman, Goblin Spearman, Goblin Mage. Surely, surely the mage is the weakest, right? <laughs> okay. Yo, we are not doing this. You got this, Adrian. He doesn't got this. <laughs> okay, we've seen the game over screen quite a bit this part. Uh, let's run away. It's a silly place. We are not going to be doing that for a while. We're going to explore uh, these planes for a bit. At some point, I know I get forced into the archery contest. I don't think there's in no. This is where I came in at. Okay. I don't think there's any other way out from this place either. Spots. Ooh, and an essence over here. A good chunk of coins. Get, get the fish. There you go. There's everyone patiently waiting for me to take a swim. I think I can go to the right. Nope. I didn't interact with the bird. I think that'll force me into the uh, archery contest if I go further south. Looks like you're too short. I can see that. No, no, I mean like generally. <laughs> yes, thank you. Go away. Okay. I like their banter. It's like actual friend conversation. Once I go below the um, the rope fence, there is when I'm forced into the archery contest. Nope, actually, it's the guy right there. There was a cave here, and this. Oh, 
You unlock the sear my planes teleport. Alright. That's actually literally everything I can do right now. Alright, another point of no return. Yes, proceed. Be there, girl. Gotta help you if you're Lita Lakata. Um, kinda. Am I late? Yes, you're late. We were about to start without you. Come with me and take your place. And you better be jogging beside me, young lady. Yes, sir. I'll go watch with the others. Good luck, Lita. Okay, thanks. Go stand with the other contestants, young lady. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the 23rd Annual Archery Contest. We have some new faces this year and returning competitors, including the reigning champion for the last six years, Tarun Visor. Visor? Also from last year, we have Sophie Aminia and Rian and Nala. These are some names. And our new challengers are Lita Lakata and Farrell Linalo. The first contestants will be Sophie and Farrell and Terran. Take your places. This is the first round and you'll each get just one shot. The contestant who hits closest to the center of the target wins. Archers ready? Judges, ready. Archers, loose your arrows on my mark. Loose. I feel like the center one is actually at a disadvantage because they're not the same distance from each other. From the contestants, whatever. Terran Vizier has won this round. I don't think that's how they spelled his name before. Abyss, this is unbearable. Armory, how did I let you talk me into this? How long will we expect it to sit here? Long enough to make a show of it, I suppose. Simeon the Elder insisted we spectate the competition. I admit if this has if this is his idea of defending his village, I find myself skeptical. These people are not soldiers. They're barely even archers, aside from this Terran person. If vampires do decide to attack in earnest, these people will all be dead or turned before they even realize what happened. Well, he's clearly sinister. Lita's up next. I'm so excited. I bet she shoots one of the judges. <laughs> ah. Now that is a brother. If she does, you better start thinking of ways to bail her out of Castle Atana's dungeon. Right now, the second round is starting. Jeremy has won the first round. Newcomer Lita Lakata will face off against last year's runner-up, Rian Nala. Take your places, archers. Archers ready. Judges ready. Archers, loose arrows on my mark. Loose. Lita, Lita Lakata has won this round. That girl is rather skilled herself. I suppose that brings our count of competent defenders up to two. You'll excuse me if I don't feel particularly reassured, I hope. I sense something strange about that girl. You sense something strange about everything, dare I ask, in what capacity? I cannot tell for certain. It is, however, something I have not felt in a very long time. You're not falling in love with her, are you? That is immaterial. Oh god, at least tell me no. <laughs> no. Well done, Lita. But do not let yourself get overconfident. Stay focused. Okay, Papa. I hope he's not still mad. Lita has advanced to the third round to face the defending champion, Tarim Vizier.
All right, Lita and Tarum, take your places. You've got a good eye, kid. Oh, thank you. And you've got excellent control of your bow for someone your size, too. Yeah, let's just get on with this. The second round's rules are different. Contestants will take turns, and each will be given three arrows. The best shot of the three will be the, the one that's, sec that, that's scored. The archers with the clo arrow closest to the center of the target will win the contest. Terum appears to be ready, and so do our judges. So loose on my mark, Terum. Loose. Terum has hit the direct center of the target. An excellent first shot, but hardly unexpected of the reigning champion. Terum has two shots remaining. I don't think that will be necessary. That should do it. Astounding. Terum has voluntarily forfeited his second and third shots. Lita will need to make two perfect shots to win. It'll be tough to beat that, girl. You've done well so far, though. Be proud regardless of the outcome. Thanks. Yeah, that was the best shot I've ever seen, and I have to make two of them? How in the world am I supposed to do that? Well, here goes nothing. Alright, Lita. Shoot when I tell you. Loose. Lita's shot is several inches off the mark. Oh no, she was so close. If she practiced this morning instead of sleeping off that adventurer of hers, perhaps she'd have a chance. Uh, that was awful. If this next one isn't perfect, I can't win. Alright, Lita. Get ready for your second shot and loose your arrow on my mark. Loose. Lita's shot is again off a bit. Is a bit off. Stay calm, Lita. Clear your mind. Be one with your bow. Er, well, at least maybe I can get a tie. But how can I hit the center if his arrow is already there? That is a good point. This is your last shot. Shoot on my mark. I have to concentrate this time. Loose. Incredible, Lita's arrow split Terrams in half. In all my years conducting this contest, I've never seen such a thing. The judges look astonished. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. Wow, did, did I really do that? By the goddess, girl, I've never seen anything like that. It's as though the spirit of RFL itself was channeled through your bow. What? The abyss? Did I just witness? I see now. That girl has an elven artifact of power. That is what I sensed. Please tell me you're joking. No, he's right. By the goddess, she does. Even though I felt it. Even I felt that. You many you're sensing things. Well, now what? I had planned on taking a nice hot bath back home after this. We can't have some little teenager running around with something like that. The artifact is extremely dangerous. We'll speak with Simeon the Elder again, and the girl's father as well. I'm not sure strangers approaching her directly would be the most tact tactful option. I agree... They're here or at the competition. We'll speak to them before they leave. What was that girl's name? Lita? I don't have a good feeling about this. Lita has received the archery contest grand prize. It seems I may owe you an apology, perhaps to the both of you. That was an amazing display, Lita. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Papa, and I owe you an apology, too. I'm sorry I yelled at you, and I'm sorry I made you worry. Apology accepted. I think I do understand where your wonderless comes from. I want you to be more responsible in your behavior, but I cannot blame you for feeling trapped in Aloria. Anyway, I've decided to take you hunting. Really? Really. I'll head up to the hunting range. Meet me there when you're ready. Now, good afternoon, Simeon. And you, Edmund, your daughter's performance was quite impressive. I'm sure I can speak for all of Valoria when I express my pride in her. 
It's very kind of you, Elder. Even her mother hadn't expected anything quite like that. Indeed, I was wondering if I might have a word with you about Lita, actually. What has she, <laughs> what has she done this time? Well, it's this business with Arger. Lita has very, ha was very brave to face him herself. But she broke into someone's home in order to do it, and got herself into a very dangerous situation. Yes, I'm sorry for that. She means well, but I cannot seem to get that girl to understand responsibility. Pardon me. I was wondering if I might have a word with you about Lita as well. Alright, I get to go hunting after all. This day isn't turning out so bad, huh? Yeah, it's not. Uh, Lita, did you notice anything kind of weird when you shot that last arrow? Well, I did, but I felt weird all day. I figured it was just the heat of the moment, you know? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Nobody else noticed anything strange, I guess. Come on, let's go find your dad. I'll help. Yeah, to the hunting range. As charge shot is enhanced, okay? Holy charge shot. Okay? Just higher damage right away. Okay. Um, I also got a stone to upgrade one of her skills. I think I was going to do rapid fire next. Wait for this. Further increases power and defense. That would be nice. We're going to increase rapid fire's uh, potency and another arrow. Okay, I did see some stuff together. Okay, I don't know how that works. <laughs> this water's ankle deep. It just dives to pick up the item. Whatever. Video games. Is there anything else together? Yes. And that looks like it. And we're just going to leave this here. Okay. That was uh, quite a bit of talking. But I mean, this is an RPG. That's what I should expect. I guess I make my way to the hunting range now? I thought I would get stopped, or maybe I have to go all the way there first. Cannot get that stuff over there yet. Uh, I guess go to this teleport and then warp to Talani's shop. That would be the quickest way there. And I am approaching time. So I will uh, probably go to the hunting range and then stop. Because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more talking. Okay, just everything is to the east. Oh, okay. Hmm, well, Papa said he'd meet me here in the hunting range. I wonder where he could be. Okay, well, I am... It's going to be a little bit short, but I do not want to start another block of, uh, of talking and uh, cutscenes and all that with only like a minute left. So, yeah, I'm going to call this here. We will pick up here next time. I've done all the exploring I can to this region. So, um, yeah, all there is right now is progress. So we will continue here next time. Uh, that's going to be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more, and thanks for watching.